This video illustrates how you can create filters on fields in the rows or columns area of a pivot table. Results can obviously be filtered by fields in the filters area. Indeed, filtering is the whole purpose of this area. However, it is almost as easy to filter by row and column fields. This video also illustrates the similar concept of collapsing and expanding fields. I will again use the online store purchase dataset for illustration. I have already built a pivot table by breaking down total spent by customer region and customer gender. When there is only one field along the side or one along the top, it is easy to filter out certain categories. You simply use the drop down arrows and uncheck categories you want to filter out. Here are a couple examples. I'll remove those filters. Now I will complicate things by adding some fields. With multiple fields in both the rows and columns areas, the question is what choices the drop down arrows will provide. Right now, the row labels drop down shows regions, and the column labels drop down shows times of day. So, if you want to filter out regions or time of day, you can do so from the current drop downs. However, there are other possibilities. The key is the so called active field. I will select one of the purchase time categories, such as afternoon, and then look at the pivot table tools analyze ribbon. Under active field, it lists purchase time. But if I select one of the credit card types, such as Visa, the active field changes to customer credit card. And then the column labels drop down shows credit card types that I can filter on. In short, the active field controls which fields categories show under the column labels drop down, and this controls which field you can filter on. And as you can guess, the same comments apply to fields in the rows area. Using this knowledge, I'll create some typical filters. For example, the sum of all purchases made by mails in the Northeast with MasterCard or Visa in the evening is close to $140,000. Now I'll undo these. In a similar way, you can collapse or then expand inner fields, either with the plus minus buttons next to the outer categories or with the Expand Collapse button on the Analyze ribbon. For example, I will collapse the Afternoon category. Then I see only Afternoon totals over the four credit card categories. Or I will collapse the West category to see only West totals over the two genders. Alternatively, I can collapse all purchase times or all regions from the Analyze ribbon. Then I can expand them. There is a subtle difference between filtering and collapsing. When you filter, subtotals and grand totals don't include the categories that have been filtered out. 
In contrast, when you collapse categories, the subtotals and grand totals don't change. The only effect is to hide the details of the inner fields. Of course, you have the option to do either, filter or collapse. It all depends on exactly what you want to report.